Welcome back. This is Yamachak. I think, I think this is episode 97. I think I got it wrong in, uh, in like all of the previous episodes that I was talking about it. Because <laughs> I'm good at counting. I'm horrible at counting. Um, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I need to hire an accountant. Let's do Mario 64. I like Mario 64. That's a good map. I think this is 97. I have 13 videos. Wait. Do I have 13 videos? Yeah, I have 13 videos. Yeah. So this is this should be episode 97. Which is still crazy to me. Yo, that comes out. I never noticed that. That's cool. <laughs> Can you break this thing? You know, we haven't gone inside. Let's go inside. Let's do the uh, the inside here. I mean, I have been inside before. Can you, like, look up and teleport away or something? No. Darn. Can I go in here? I want to go to the, the Princess Peach place. The, I want to go on the, the slide thingy. Imagine not letting me go on the slide. What a garbage map. Do any of these work? No, it doesn't seem like they do. You might be able to spawn Zeds. And Zeds can, like, walk through from the other side. Okay, so... Pretty uninteresting area inside. That's that's your little your little tour. Let's stay outside where it's nice and bright. And open, most importantly. Eh nah, the brightness is probably the most important. I think the brightness is I like bright. People are um So with the beta that just came out, there's the the new map, the desolation or whatever. People are super mad because they like made it brighter. I'm like, okay, how about controversial opinion? I like being able to see. So it used to be like super dark and you have to get the generator on. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't play that. <laughs> like maybe, maybe they kind of like killed the artist vision and they did. Uh, they definitely did. Um, and they, they shouldn't have included it if he was like, yo, this isn't what like I wanted the map to be. They shouldn't, they should have just found a different map to put in. Um, but, um, yeah, I wouldn't play the, the map as, as dark as it is, because dark maps, I can't see. I already have the brightness turned, like, way up. Like, if we look at the, the options here, we go to video, right? Where's the, where's the brightness? Adjust gamma. This is supposed to be barely visible. <laughs> I have it cranked. <laughs> it's, uh... I don't, I don't like darkness, right? I do that in like every game I play. I have my monitor's crankness. Uh, my, my monitor's crankness brightened too as well. Um, my monitor's brightness cranked as well. Um, because I just, I don't like dark. I hate it. Maybe, you know, okay. Maybe if this game, I mean, does this game support um, HDR? Maybe if you have like an HDR monitor and the game supports HDR, then maybe the darkness looks like super good. Um, but I don't have an HDR monitor and I don't think KF2 actually supports HDR and I don't think that map would be HDR anyway. But I also, honestly, I don't really understand HDR that well. So maybe I'm talking out my butt. I am talking out my butt, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, you can talk out your butt and be right. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people seem to misunderstand that. You know, they'll say, oh, you're talking out your butt. And I'm like, yeah, but at least my butt knows what it's talking about. It's more than I could say for, for some people's anti-butts. Where are you? I was looking for you. You disappeared. Did a little hide and seek on me. I don't know. Maybe maybe it looks great in nature, but to me, I'm like you know what? They kind of improved it. The fog. They added fog into like everything, and I hate that. And they added um. Really? Okay. Yo, this looks cool. Yo, this looks. This is the. This is cool. 
Yeah, this is kind of cool. I've never seen this. This is cool. Like, I do this. I run this map a lot. I have never seen... Um... Like this before. This is this is cool. This is really cool. Wow. And it's got like... What? Dude. What? Like... They could just improve the, like, defend the zone things by just doing stuff like this. Like, this is so much cooler than a regular defend the zone. Is it functionally identical? Yeah. But is it way cooler? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's so much cooler. You got, like, money piles. I don't think these are here normally. These look like, um... These look like they're ripped straight out of Path of Exile's vault, though. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, if they were. I hear you. Yo, I was, I, was, uh, I was reading Reddit the other day. There's this blind dude who plays Killing Floor 2. Like, straight up blind. He plays by hearing things. It's nuts. Like, I've, I've tried. Maybe we'll do an episode where I try to play it blindfolded. It won't go well. <laughs> I'll tell you. I've tried it. Um, he has an unfair advantage, though. Because he's blind. And he has to do it that way. <laughs> um, but that's, like, so cool. I've never thought about, like, how well Killing Floor 2 represents the, uh, the area around you with audio cues. But, like, it does, you know. Like, Cloak Z or whatever. It calls it out. calls out ammo crates, weapons. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, like, if you can't see you can still kind of get a feel for not necessarily um where things are that's that's more the positional audio and especially when it comes to like ammo crates yeah see like she calls out ammo but it could have been like back there right so you just kind of have to wander around until you pick it up i guess but hello okay you decided to spawn enraged and i enraged the other one so Big dum dum right here. Never thought about how well Killing Floor 2 builds the world around you with audio cues, but it totally does. Enough to be po I'm not sure if he's ever won. Like I didn't I didn't read into it that much. Um but he, he said that he was playing it and he said that he was gonna try hopping into like some online games or something like that. And he also said that it would probably not go well. Um but like that's just I mean, for one, I never think about, you know, blind people playing video games, right? Like, obviously blind people are going to have things that they like to do, right? And um, they'll be able to play games. Like, you can probably play, like, like you could play D&D &D blind. And that would be pretty much identical. Like, board games and stuff are going to be pretty okay. Like, you'd be able to read books. Um, if they're converted to braille or like an audiobook, like you can, you can do things, right? Like I'm not saying that blind people are useless, but, um, um, like I never think about blind people as playing video games because it's such, for me, I rely on my eyesight so much, um, that like video games aren't really possible if I close my eyes. Like if I close my eyes, I cannot hit that stalker. Or, uh, Siren. And, um... But I, I, I guess that, uh, to a certain extent, they do. And, uh, they just rely on... On audio cues. That's really cool. And I'm sure that there are games where... Um, they specifically build it to be playable with, um... Just the audio cues. Like, you don't have to be able to see to play the game. Like, I'm sure there are games built for blind people, right? There, there's no way they wouldn't have video games that uh, are made for blind people. Like that's just with with the amount of people in the world and the amount of video games that exist. Like no way, somebody somewhere isn't gonna think of that, right? I'm not, I'm not unique in, in thinking about that. But like a normal video game, like Killing Floor Two or like RuneScape or, or something. Like I never, I never thought about it, and. Uh, it's, it's really cool that they can make it work. 
I think it's like super, super cool. I don't know. Maybe that's patronizing. I don't think it is, though, right? I just, I just think it's cool. Like, that's impressive. <laughs> like, they're not. A blind person is not going to be as good as like pretty much any person who can see at like a fast-paced first-person shooter. Like, it's just, it's not possible. But that they could shoot. He was talking about how he um to like reorient his cursor you would go down and then like keep bashing until it was there and then like be able to like orient his camera that way I'm like that's just that's really cool like you don't you don't think about those kinds of things but when when you're blind I guess you have to right I don't know I think it's I think it's fascinating the ingenuity that uh some people can come up with to, to accomplish a task is, uh... It's just it's fascinating to me. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to say it nicely. Because I don't want to, like, come across like, Oh, blind people can't do things, but... It's not what I mean. Um, I, I never thought that he'd be able to play, like, Killing Floor 2, like... What? <laughs> how, do, how do you do that? I would, uh... Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Anyway, this is gonna... be an easy win here. I mean, we haven't gotten... What is this death animation? What on earth? <laughs> oh, he got stuck on a tree. <laughs> does, it, does he have nipple piercings? Hold up. Are his nipples pierced? Yeah, they are. He has like skull nipple piercings. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I never noticed that. Oh my god. That's gonna do it for today though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say and I will see you next time. Bye bye.